best buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I love making everything that has to do with junk journals. And if this is something you enjoy too, please subscribe. I have a thousand subscriber giveaway going on. So if you would like to enter, just subscribe and leave me a respectful comment. A shout out to Christine, Joyce, Sue, Nancy, Rockstar, and Mackenzie. I appreciate each and every one of you. Today I'd like to do the Roxy's Weekly Challenge number 11, but as you all know, my anxiety cannot allow me to do how many can you make in 45 minutes? I don't know. Let's try. I can't do that. So we're just going to um, make us one. We're going to decorate it and we're going to say, oh my, that was really fun. <laughs> okay. So first, what we do is we take our book page. So actually mine is kind of like an encyclopedia. And um, you turn it up on the bottom of the page. And then you turn the sides in. I'm turning all of them in. Top, oh, and I'm supposed to do it halfway uh, straight. Halfway. Let's see if we can at least do it halfway straight. That's a little better. And the bottom. Turn the bottom up and the side. So the afternoon has turned out to be quite lovely. It started out extremely rainy today. And I am videotaping this earlier um, because we're supposed to have really bad storms tomorrow. And I have no idea what it's going to to be like tomorrow so I decided you know what um, I'm going to make another video and have it ready just in case I'm really not able to be on line for a long time in case you know things go wacky for us at least I'll be able to hopefully get it on the internet when I wake up. So now this is when I go, uh, now what do we do? <laughs> okay, that's the top. This is the bottom. So I'm going to cut this. I really don't think it matters if you cut the top or the bottom section. You just have to have one of them with the extra flap to make it kind of like a gusseted bag as long as one of them is then I think it's okay at least that's how I see it at least that's how I see it because I can get extremely confused doing this I don't know about y'all but I can get get confused that's easy for me to do, as my husband would say. I think I walk around confused half the time. Okay, I'm just going to take the corners out like this. And up here as well. Okay. The... Uh, of course, you know I live in the south, so we don't have much of a winter, which I really, really enjoy. I've had enough winter. I lived in Kansas for so very long, and I've just, I have had enough of the cold. I don't like it. I don't like all the snow and the cold. I did as a kid. Oh, as a kid, it was like great fun. But... Um, not now. I don't want that now. And anyway, so think about what you're doing, Kathy, or you're going to mess up. You don't need those. We don't need these. No, we don't need these. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, the trees and the bushes, they're all waking up. And after we've had some rain here in the last couple days, Everything is just getting so green, and it so makes your eyes feel so good to look at it. 
The grass is getting green and the trees are getting green. I so miss leaves on the trees. I really do. I think it's so beautiful when everything just gets all green and things start blooming and it's very exciting for me. Very exciting. When my mother was alive, she would say when when this time of year, actually a little bit earlier, you can actually see little leaves on the trees now, but she would say, she'd look up and at the trees and she'd say, don't the trees just look so lacy? That's what she always would say. So now I find myself saying that to myself or to my daughter or my granddaughter. Don't the trees look so lacy? <laughs> That was a pretty good description of how they looked. When they get to that stage when they're waking up. Okay. I think we've got ourselves an envelope. I do believe we have us an envelope. We surely do. Isn't that sweet? Okay, I am going to ink around and I'm going to decide what I want to do here. I might want to, okay, first I'm going to ink it and then I, I will be back because I know you don't want to watch me do that. Okay, you guys, I have my envelope and I have inked all the way around. Now, I would like to decorate this in a different way. I think I would like to add some coffee dyed doily maybe right here. Not sure if I want that much of one or possibly have it come down a little bit more. I just think that looks very pretty on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my glue stick on here glue it up and fold it on here like this just I want to fold this down just a little bit more there we are. That's pretty good. Yes, I like that. And I better put a little inking on it just a little bit. Rachel doesn't ink at all. Okay. I do like that a lot. I think I almost want to notch in there, but if I do that, it's going to be... You know, we can't do that because it will mess up the, the way that's fixed. I think I'd like a little strip of this. It's just material oh my <laughs> that I ironed a while back I have a whole bunch of them I like to make them um, journal covers using them and I thought this might be real pretty on here I'm gonna cut it right across there as well and this a little bit. Okay. Whoops. 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 Oh, everything's sticking to me. I like that. I would like maybe to use 
I need a little more coffee dyed paper. I've got this old cigar box that was my dad's and I keep it full of little pieces of coffee dyed paper. You know you guys when you get these little these dry things that you get in some I put them inside my paper pieces and so it never they never get damp or moldy or anything like that. I really like like doing that. Okay. Let me pull out a couple of these and set that back over there. This one has a little bit of a decoration. That's real pretty. I really just seeing what we can put together here. I really don't know. We're just trying some things. Don't know. All right. What happens? Go like this, maybe. I kind of like that. Now, what happens if we take this one? And rip it right like that. Can't even see that, can you guys? I'm liking that a lot. So let's go ahead and let's put this. on the envelope. At some point in time you have to just start putting things down. Okay, and then I'd like to put this down. Now I'm going to go ahead and use some fabric tack on that. Just put a couple of little dots on there, just so it stays on. Like that. Am I liking that a lot? Lid back on. I'm going to go ahead and just lightly ink around this image right here. And I'd like to attach it like that. Oh my. There we go. There we go. I don't need to get a wet wipe. Like this up. I'm creating a mess. Alrighty. So then I would like to get my ink and go ahead and ink around this. I'm going to use this as my, I need to get my address. I need to get my, I'm going to grab my stamp here, guys. Here we go. I got my stamp. And I'm going to just put it on my ink. I'm running out of space here, guys. I'm just going to stamp this little piece of paper just like that. And 
and that is going to be my address. I'm going to get a wet wipe. All right. There. So that's my address. I'm liking that a lot. Let's go ahead and I'm going to get a little piece of paper to glue my thing on. Put my glue on. And there we go. Get this on here. I want it right there. All right, wipe my hands off with my wet wipe. Now, to do my little um, stamp, I think I'm going to do something a little different. I would like to get a another little piece of my material and I would like to trim it like in the size of a stamp. Might be a little too big but we're gonna fray it. It's just an idea here. And I don't want the pages to, I don't want to see the pages through there. So I am going to cut me a little square. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want those um, words from the book page to come through. I just really want it to be plain. So I'm gonna, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put that right on here. Now I'm going to glue that. No, I'm not gonna glue that yet. I am going to get my stamp my stamp things. So hang on just a minute while I get my stamp things. Alrighty, I have my stamp. And I'll put it on my little plexiglass. And I'm going to stamp my just like that. And then I'm going to get my cross stamp. They're not crosses, they're lines. Whatever that's when they stay said you they went ran through the machine at the post office. Shut everything up here. Alright, go back to the beautiful envelope we have going on. And I'm going to put my little stamp there. And since it's on paper, I can just attach it with my glue stick. Just like that. Oh, I think that's looking very sweet. This is the back, and we need to do a little something something on the back. We can add some more of this to tie it in so it all flows together nicely. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, do I want it down here maybe? That's pretty right there. I have this little fella, but I don't think I want that on there. What do I want right there? I want a little something something. How about maybe 
I'm thinking. Looking at some things I have on my desk, seeing if something would work for me. I need a butterfly. Let me grab my butterflies. Okay, guys, I am so messed up in this craft room that I can't find my butterflies. But I did find a very pretty little wasp or fly, or I'm not sure what it is. But I think I can make this work just beautifully. So my thoughts are to go ahead and get my fabric tack onto my fabric and put that there. Then Take a little piece of coffee dyed paper and put it about right there. I need to go ahead and put a little ink on this fella. Really, that's quite beautiful. I do like that. I think that just turned out lovely. I made a couple other ones earlier. I made one like this. And I made one like this as well. That's a big old rickrack on there. You guys I had great fun with you again and if you enjoyed my video I'd love you to join me again in my next video I'll see you soon guys bye now